Hi, this is Info Puppet, and we are going to go over three different techniques that you can use with clipping masks. You are going to absolutely love this next Photoshop Elements tutorial. Photoshop Elements 12 is open up. This will work fine in PE 11 and PE 10. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to select the text tool. And we, for, for doing what we're going to do, we need a very large text. Now it looks like you can only go to 72, but you can actually type in here. I just made it 200 points. So now at 200, I'm going to type info blah blah blah. It's not working. Look how small this is. I know you guys have done this before. Don't tell me it's only me. So some of you are going to try to make your image smaller by doing this for about five and a half hours. So we, we can't do that. Let's get rid of this little text. Let me show you what the right thing is to do. So we're going up to image, resize, and image size. Now look at this, 311 inches by 296 inches. That's like the size of a two-story wall. No wonder the text is so small. Okay, I just changed it to like 13 by 12. All right, I'm back at my 200 points. And that looks much better. Now I'm just gonna type Info Puppet. And we'll slide this over a little bit. Okay. Now we're going to come over here to the layers panel and I'm going to drag the image above the text layer and let me move this thing over. Now if you can, it's because your layer is locked and you need to double click on it and then select OK when the window opens up. Alright, now we're going to go to layer, create clipping mask and there you go! Looks awesome! Now, if you want to move the text around, we'll select the text layer and, uh, wait a minute, the background's moving, not the text. Let me try this again. I'll select the text layer and the background's still moving. Well, maybe I'll try it one more time. You know, they say the definition of crazy is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting different results. But look, now the text is moving it's because I'm using the arrows on my keyboard so just for you to know if you want to move the text only gonna work if you use the arrows on your keyboard okay now we're gonna dr uh, drag the text layer into the trash let me fix this perfect okay now we're gonna select the shape tool the custom shape tool I'm gonna select the re round rectangular tool and I've got my radius at 65 pixels you can make it a little bit smaller, a little bit larger, depending on how round you want your corners. I'm just left clicking, holding and dragging, and boom! Big black rectangle with rounded corners, and I just slid, slid my image above the shape. And now I'm at layer, create clipping mask, and look at that! You have an image with round corners. Look how easy! Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag my shape into the trash can, left click, hold and drag. And now I'm going to select the rounded rectangular marquee tool or the rounded rectangle tool. And I'm going to select a custom shape here and maybe I'll just select the butterfly. But you knew I was going to select the butterfly, didn't you? Because you saw my thumbnail, which I haven't even made yet. It's just not fair. You kind of know what I'm doing before I do it. So I'm left clicking and holding and dragging butterflies. Alright, now again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag my image above it. Hey, I can't. Let me try it again. Oh, uh, maybe I'll just drag it down. There you go. Gotta have the regular image above and select it. And then click on layer and create clipping mask and boom! Look at that! It's so beautiful! Now, you, whatever color you have down here at the bottom of the color swatch, is what's going to appear what we're going to do next. I'm just going to create a new layer and now I'm just going to click on uh, control and delete or command and delete on my keyboard and that'll fill the layer with the color that was at the bottom of the color swatches. Now I just drag that layer down and see now you can see with the white background. 
Now I'm going to show you what I've done uh, to my thumbnail. I just went to layer, layer, style, and style settings. And I clicked on a drop shadow. It makes it look so much cooler. But there you go. Three different techniques with clipping masks. Thank you so much for watching from Info Puppet.